Hi everybody, Norfolk Boy here again, uh, Kev if you much prefer as it's my name, uh, although I like to call myself Norfolk Boy because I talk bit Norfolk like, you know, so um, if I say anything a bit weird, my excuse is I'm Norfolk. Okay, let's move on. Today I'll mostly be talking about DAWs. Um, when I very first started um, thinking about creating music, first of all I wanted to see if it's something I really wanted to get into. I was um, desperate to find out the, you know, the most cheapest way of doing it. Um, so when I looked at doors, I was horrified to see how much they were. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, so um, you know. DAWs like Ableton are absolutely fantastic, don't get me wrong, absolutely brilliant, but however, they cost an awful lot of money, Ableton being one that's the most expensive. Um, Bitwick is now out, um, that's not too bad, apparently, I uh, haven't got that. Um, my very first one that I purchased was Cubase. I bought Cubase Ele Elements. Sorry, um, Cubase Elements was the cheapest one at the time that I could get. And to be honest, I got on with it okay. Um, it's just that it's a bit of a weird setup compared to some of the others when it comes to inputs and outputs of sound. So I did struggle when I first started with getting my head around it. But what we're talking about today is a free one with no restrictions and through all of the um, research I've done through the years this is definitely the only one I can seem to come up with that it is definitely a free DAW and one of the world's best completely unlimited so you can have as many tracks as you like you can bring all your own plugins uh, so that means all the free ones that you've seen on this website and other places that you've downloaded will all work in this this DAW which is great because the only one drawback with uh, waveform I guess is that you don't get too many tools um, with it plug-in tools with it but obviously you can bring all your own plugins into it anyway it's it's got some but it hasn't got everything if you know what I mean so bringing in your free plugins is an absolutely fantastic way to use this and um, yeah you've got yourself a free DAW that you can start creating music with so I have used this before um, in the past. I'm just going to click on free download here and what will happen is you'll get a page come up and it will ask you for an email address, a first name, a last name and agree and then submit. And of course, say you're not a robot. Once you've done that, I've already done this in the past, obviously, so I already have an account with them, but I guess they'll be sending you an email. But whatever happens, just follow the steps and eventually you're going to get to the download page. So here we are at the download page. And as you can see, it says Waveform 11 at the moment. I'll explain that just in a few seconds. You've got download for Apple, download for Windows, download for Linux and um, Raspberry Pi, I think it is. 32-bit, um, 64-bit. Um, yes, it says Waveform uh, 11, but underneath it says all versions of Waveform 13 use the same install file. So you will get that eventually. Um, I will show you how you do all of that. Um, to get 13 rather than 11 um, so we'll we'll explain that as we go along so I'm going to download the Mac version obviously and then we can move on from there so I'll click on download which will in turn download our file obviously into downloads and we shall go to the download folder so here I am in my download folder. I'm just going to right click and say open and start the installation. Obviously click continue and continue again. Go through the same old stuff. Agree, install. Then I'll have to type in my password, which is my password for my login to my computer. And it will then install the software. Cool, now that's gone, we'll just close that. I'm gonna say keep to keep it in my download folder just for the time being. Then I'm going to go to my launch pad because that's probably where I'm going to find it. And there it is, Waveform 11 at the moment, 64 bits. So we'll open that up and we'll see what happens here. Right, we're gonna to have to allow certain things obviously, but you uh, can take your time and click on each thing that it asks you to. 
It then comes up with this message. If you just read it carefully, I'm going to try the new engine, but you don't have to. You can continue with the old one if you still wish. If you feel that your computer may not be able to handle it, I have managed to buy myself a decent computer, so I'm going to give it a go and see what happens. So I'll just try the new engine. I'll say I don't want to see that message again. And then we need to agree and install the software. So this is where we now need to put in the email and password we would have used to make the account with Traction when we um, decided to download the software. So we need to type that in. Then you just need to click on register and it should then register your product, your free version. It can take a little while, so be patient, but when it does, yep, complete, okay. Allow all the bits and pieces that you wish to allow on your particular machine. It's now going to scan for plugins that you have already. Um, so with um, Mac, it they would all pretty much be in the same place. But you can, um, with this program, say where your um, plugins are. So if you're on Windows and it can't find them and it's because you've put them in a particular folder of your own, you can just point it to that direction and it will um, bring them all in. So I'm just going to probably speed this video up a bit because it's going to probably take a while to scan through all the, um, all the stuff that I've got on this machine uh, and then we can move on. Mind you, while it is installing all of the plugins, if you just look on the left hand side, you can see that it has a kind of set up. Um, oh, I'm just going to have to allow that. Um, a set up bit on the left hand side that you can go through and it will tick each thing that you're doing as you go along. You don't have to do all of them. You don't have to download a demo song if you don't want to. You don't have to watch a tutorial video or show a quick start guide or anything like that, but it's worth doing anyway. Um, so, yeah. There may be the odd one or two that it, it doesn't like, but uh, you know, it'll bring in most plugins that you have. Okay, for some reason it's just asked me to put my username and password again, so I will do just to log in. I think it's to log in to Download Manager. Now once you get in and you click on downloads to see what else there is to download, you may get a problem here. Um, this happened to me once before. Um, so what it is, is it's coming up with a sign saying, or a, sorry, a pop-up saying that um, it can't find a download manager. And that's because I didn't actually download it. Um, just underneath um, waveform on the same page of download, on the download page, um, you can download what's called download manager um, and you need to do that for this to work within the door so i'm going to do that right now so here i am back on the download page and I, if i scroll down underneath this main part here here we go you'll see is download manager so if we download that and install it then we should be good to go just going to really quickly install that all in the same way so i shan't go through all this boring malarkey but you know this is pretty much what you have to do is install it all the same way as you did before um, and then we should be able to shut the program open it up again and have no problem with any of the downloads it's opened up the download page on its own, but I'm going to close this and just close the program and open it again.
Okay, so I've opened it again. I've just got to put my name and password in again. And up comes the Traction Download Manager version 1.5.0. Um, this should now, once it's connected to the marketplace, let me now download Waveform 13. And there it is. So if I download that, um, also I can download anything else I want here, like the new version by the look of it of Download Manager. Oh no, that's reinstalled, so that's okay. Yep, so, oh, there's also, um, yeah, a little um, extra program, which I think is a synth that uh, comes with Waveform. So here I'm just going to pick what I need. So I don't think I need the AAX. I may well take that out. Yeah. Um, I don't think that's probably a standalone version. I don't really, really want that either. I think I'll go with the um, FX effects to go with it. Um, if I remember rightly, this is a um, a kind of synthesizer of some some sort that comes in with the package. So I'm going to install that and close and close. And yeah, I think we're almost there. OK, so now I've closed that box. Um, as I said, down on the left here, you've got several things that you can do. Obviously, you want to check your um, setup for your MIDI devices that you might have connected. I've just got my keyboard connected at the moment, my one keyboard. There's a um, setup audio um, for any inputs that you want. You can click on test there. Um, yeah. All of these things you need to slowly go through. Um, there is help within the software itself, so you can go straight to it. I, I'm not going to go through all of this in great detail or how to use the particular DAW because that would just go on forever and ever, amen, and I really don't have the time neither. Maybe I will do at some point. As you can see, you've got all these videos here to help you along with a quick start. And... Yeah, uh, like a manual to look at. So obviously it's like any software. You're going to have to learn it, of course. Um, I must learn so many bits of software. It's untrue. Um, so yeah, um, it's just something that you have to do. I'm going to create a new project here just so that you can see what it looks like. So here we are. I'm just going to open up the whole program so it covers the screen so here we are with all the tracks um, just quickly as you can see at the moment it's um, armed with um, help boxes that pop up and tell you exactly what everything is when you click here you can pick whatever plugins you may have so I'm just going to pop something in here um, what should I go for here Sorry about the edit there, but that was me making up my mind what to do. I've just put in one of my native, native instruments here just to pick a piano. Uh, so I'll go for that, which was another free piece of software that you could put in with native instruments. OK. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, if I just drag that over, there's a little tag there where you click on to arm your track so that you're getting sound coming in and I'll just pretty play any old thing here so that we can just record it in sorry for the sound of the hammering of the keys there that you can hear but I'm using a couple of tracks here yeah so we can now click and add perhaps a reverb, for instance, you know, so if you just add another plugin into that particular box there, just giving you a rough idea of how this all works. Just stick one of my Vahalas in, Supermassives. Thank you. 
Yeah, so just playing any old rubbish there, but um, what we're going to do is just going to record a little bit of something in. There's a bit too much reverb on this, but um, I don't really matter for demo purposes. Okay, so now I've recorded some sort of <laughs> MIDI there. I can obviously double click on it and it'll open up the MIDI editor in here. You can draw your own notes, you can shift them around, you can quantize them and so on and so forth. So just like any other door or DAW, sorry. Um, but of course it's completely and utterly free. So this is just a superb um, way to start if you know you're just doing it for fun or even um, to use it to create it's quite capable of creating some really good music and and tracks and getting them out there you know so um, you know if you're looking for a door but you don't want to spend huge amounts of money or you just can't afford it this is the way to go it's waveform of course, if you get to really like Waveform, you can go for their Waveform Pro, which no doubt will give you all sorts of extra goodies. Um, I think it begins at $199 if you were going to do that. But, um, you know, that's up to you. You can go and take a look. But there's no need. This is a totally and utterly capable DAW with everything you need to create some music and get it out there. So if you'd like to have a free DAW to use, then get yourself up to uh, Waveform's website. I'll leave a link below underneath the video and download yourself a copy. So if you enjoyed this video and it's been useful to you, please just strike us a like and maybe subscribe. That would be great. And that would help to create some more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching and take care.